Okay, it says we are now streaming on Facebook. Hello, hello. I know there's some people who really want to watch this live. Um, I think people are always curious to hear about like actual experiences and what what can happen. So just for some context, this is our beautiful Julie. Uh, we did a month intensive together. Julie, you know, I think it's really helpful for people to know like what, when is the right time to seek out some support? right or like when to desire that and like when to actually take that next step and sometimes it's because sometimes like something's wrong and you want to like fix it and other times which I would say is more relevant to you it's things are great and you know there's room for maybe even better or even like layers deeper what was for you like the pull or the draw to get in touch and say let's let's do this work together yeah so to give um people some context so I was inside and still am inside of a loving marriage. I have a very supportive husband and like, I know I have a very good man. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I was like feeling kind of stagnant in our relationship. I had a desire to connect deeper and, you know, I definitely had this vision or I call it maybe more expectation of like, okay, where I wanted a relationship to be. Um, but at the time I had reached out to you, we have, we were together already for five years, married for three or so. Mm -hmm. And I guess I had yeah, these certain visions and expectations of, you know, where we should be. Yeah. So I was like feeling very dissatisfied. Like I had these moments of totally feeling dissatisfaction. And I noticed my behavior. I was like nitpicking, complaining, wanting to uh, change certain things in his behavior or wanting him to be better in certain, you know, um, areas. For example, I'm very into personal development. My husband, while he has a very high emotional uh, intelligence, in, in my opinion, he was just not necessarily into those, um, you know, personal development, spirituality and things like that. And I think I was trying to push him into a certain mold. And I noticed myself doing that. And we had um, at times these conversations of, you know, just kind of exploring, okay, where did he feel like, how was he feeling inside of our relationship? And he was just like, babe, I feel great, you know? And I'm just <laughs> here in my bubble being like, oh, I'm unsatisfied, you know? So I saw there was like a disconnect. And luckily enough, I had like enough awareness that it was really my perceptions that was uh, contributing to this, um, you know, the satisfaction again that, that I was feeling and I knew I had to address that. And, you know, initially I had tried more of the um, action oriented kind of things, you know, do date nights or like, you know, the set time together and things like that. And while it did work like for a few moments, I would still revert back into that behavior or get really upset about, you know, small, one superficial level, it looked like very small things. But yeah, I was just like constantly triggered and I knew that um, I just needed some help uh, to, because, you know, I was, I, I can't see my own blind spots, right? And you had, um, I was subscribed to your newsletter and you had sent, um, I think it's, it was like a, the header was like, be his partner, not his boss. And I just <laughs> totally recognized myself like, oh my God, I'm being his boss. I'm like trying to tell him to do things. So that was like kind of where I was at when I reached out to you. Yeah, I love that. And I can really relate to that and know that a lot of women here can relate. And, you know, most of the women in this group or whoever's watching this, like we're into personal development. And so we kind of are like even questioning, shouldn't my partner be kind of doing the same things or into growth? And like I was saying to someone the other day, I can't remember who I was speaking with. I said, like with Jack, it's almost like he does he's living naturally what I need to work a little harder at. <laughs> like he's lived a few lives more than I have or something. Um, and we can get really stuck on wanting it to look a specific way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at some of the questions I'd written here. What was, what was one of the things that surprised you most when we actually did work together and start digging in? So again, for anybody watching, just to give context, we did a month together where it's like the intensive. So, and a lot can happen even in that short time, but what was one of the things that surprised you most? You know, it was um, almost how easy it was for me to allow myself to love him the way he is when I brought back the focus on, you know, taking ownership of, okay, how am I showing up inside of these, the beliefs that I was having, the expectation. Because even like when we had our first, um, you know, call to just kind of connect, 
and you know see okay what is it that I was looking for you asked me okay what is one of the things I'm trying I'm looking to get out of it and I just hadn't really thought of it about it on a logical level but just like intuitively what just came out of my mouth was I just want to allow myself to love him you know <laughs> the way he is and I feel like I you know, I was trying to overcomplicate things. And when I just brought it back to, okay, what is it that my responsibility inside of this? Yeah, it was actually really easy. Yeah, to totally. just allow myself to be in the moment to like, just, you know, and again, I'm not saying that he's perfect, or that he even needs to yes. be perfect. Yeah. But the allowance, I feel like that was um, the shift. And it was like, oh, this is really easy for me. Yeah. So I feel like that was um, that was it. And the second thing that I felt was uh, really interesting for me was how easily certain tri- triggers just fell away. You know, yeah. How after, um, you know, because sometimes I was used to like, okay, there's certain triggers, and I have to just work through them, like, yeah. and just really be trying to be super conscious. But there were things like after even like our first session. Um, things that would normally trigger me were just like oh okay it's like kind of just bounced off and it was just I found that was so interesting that didn't have to be so hard you know yeah I almost hear it's because like that allowance where you're like I'm allowed to love him and it's safe to love him and it's okay for me to drop some of this Mm -hmm. that you were just like able to let go and relax more so then you are going to be less triggered naturally Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's so so good what would you say shifted maybe even in the way you perceive um, yourself or your husband and, and your relationship? Mm, so for me, it was being able to tap into, I guess, a more fun essence who, who wasn't always so, you know, uptight inside of my yeah. relationship because I was recognizing, yeah, I was kind of showing up in, in that manner and being able to more embody the, yeah, the kind of wife I wanted to be showing up inside of my relationship. And that that version of me, which I feel is, you know, much closer to, you know, my, my true essence is a fun, loving energy. And even with that, just um, being able, whenever I notice things that, you know, could potentially trigger me, is just kind of approaching it with a lot more kindness and like lightness without things having to be so heavy and so serious. I feel like that was the thing for me that had shifted. And um, for my husband, again, it was that idea of allowance and being able to stop uh, putting like expectation or pressure or labels on him, you know, and, and again, coming back to the personal development, you know, yeah. and this even allowing him to, you know, remem- remembering that he's on his own journey yeah. and what he needs to learn, he'll learn. And even almost like allowing him to surprise me with certain insights yeah. that he has, right? So even now, like he recently kind of opened up more to like personal development. We actually like, mm-hmm. like did vision boards and he was yeah. like open to it. He was like, he's, he's not like, I'm not going to actually commit to it every day, but I'll go and look at what are my values and all that things. And just allowing him to naturally um, find his way to that if he wants to. Yeah. I feel like, um, again, coming back to the word allowance in, in that way. Yeah, is uh, one of the things that surprised me. Yeah. And um, in terms of relationship is, I feel like reminding myself what is really important, you know, yeah. and for me was, was that connection. And I'm going back to our connection call that we had together uh, before we even started working. Mm-hmm. You, you asked me that question, okay, what is it um, that I want? I was really like the work that we're doing together or like, how do I see a relationship? And I had that vision of, that came really like instantly to me was a picture of us like walking on a bridge and like I remember the bridge yeah Yeah, the bridge right and just remembering what that feeling is and allowing myself to remember that it doesn't have to be specific activities because again I was very um focused on like out like measure not measurable but like there's really outcomes like a date night and yeah. like these things and like it has to be these fun activities and things like that and just being remembering that no it's actually coming back to that feeling so even if we're just like laying on the couch or just talking in bed that feeling connection is there and it's as important and as as um essential as let's say the us having a date night you know it's really coming back to what do I want this to feel like? I feel like that is 
the perception um, that shifted inside of how I viewed my relation because I like yeah. I mentioned at the beginning of the call I had this expectation of what it should look like and I think that for me now it's kind of more sh shifting it's shifted back to like okay what does it feel like yeah I love that I think that's actually one of my favorite things when I'm working with women who are in relationships and in good relationships right I think that's really important to to distinct like make that distinguish here um distinction is like noticing that the love can really be actually the love is really mostly like our days are our, our day to day lives are mostly like going through the motions right and if we, we can insert like so many moments of love like in the morning when we wake up or at night before we go to bed or as we're crossing paths in the house like the way we look at each other or speak to each other or smile is like the, really bringing that love back in and I remember that moment of you being on the bridge and it's, it's actually something interesting that you're bringing up because you've brought up our connection call twice right and so for anybody watching like meaning that call before we even begin working together where we see is there a fit here and actually what I'm hearing you say is the moment like that was the start of the change like mm -hmm. even that call like that moment of saying like this is like, just getting really honest with yourself about what's in the way and what you desire, the change begins in that moment. Mm. Yeah, that is, I could, that definitely resonates, you know, yeah. when you, you say that, because yeah. when it's just the, yeah, the, um, I think in our day to day where we don't give ourselves that space to really explore, okay, what is it like get truthful with ourselves and being yeah. like, okay, yeah, what is getting in my way? And, you know, what it is that I really desire beyond these, you know, labels or expectations that I have what is it really at the core yeah you bring up a really great point there and you were amazing at implementing and integrating everything we talked about so I just want to say that you know like there this is not this is really like a co-creation between us two and and with your partner it's like your ability to take what we you know explore in our sessions and then turn around and actually like use it and apply it and mm -hmm. notice it and explore it are there anything, are there any aha moments that like you can remember of? And you've kind of already mentioned a few that stick out from our sessions. Um, well, one thing that it was an aha moment. And after I for, kind of forgot about it, after when you were talking about, you know, Jack just being, you know, in his, um, you know, already like kind of in the way he's being, he's already like doing the work kind of thing. Yeah. And I remember he, um, one of the things I had brought up was, let's say certain of my resentments of yeah. like, you know, I'm, this is what I'm contributing to the relationship, but I feel like she's not contributing in it in, or like consciously putting as much, let's say quote unquote effort yeah. as I am. And you had offered me the, the insight of like, what happened if just the way he is, is his contribution to the relationship, right? Because my husband, he's super zen. He's like goofy, he's light. He doesn't get true, like he, I feel like he doesn't get triggered by much, much, you know, and that just his way of being allows me to, gives me a safe space to like, uh, share, be open and like, you know, share my needs. And, mm -hmm. you know, again, just by him being like super Zen and he's not very triggered. I mean, I just can imagine if like both of us, we're just constantly getting triggered, you know, how that, uh, dynamic in our relationship would be very different. So remembering that, you know, for me in his own way, he, or just his natural way of being is his way of contributing. And doesn't yeah. always have to be this 50, 50% 50 way of contributing or that our way of contributing has to look exactly the same, you know, inside of a relationship. So that had allowed me again to remove the resentment yeah. um, that I was feeling from my perception that he is not contributing in the way that I want him to be contributing right yeah, completely mm -hmm. let me just check the group and see if there are any questions yeah um and let's so we'll go from there and just see if anyone's asking anything we can address okay just I think some okay. love oh questions okay just some love on our on our video <laughs> so, <laughs> okay so you know our work together it, it's a decent size investment okay um mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, we can get stuck there sometimes, but now that you've made it and you did so, so courageously, how do you feel having made that decision? How do you feel about having made that investment? So honestly, I feel super good about it now, <laughs> but if I can share like from when the moment that, you know, you shared, okay, this is the, you know, the, the investment that, you know, the, the work would require 
initially, yeah, I was like kind of caught off guard. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And after, and like just to give some background, like I, you, I'm was already used to making uh, similar investments, let's say for my business, but yeah. here was going to be really for my personal life. Yeah. And in that moment, it was what had allowed me to be feel super safe and feel super like okay I, I'm in this is I guess the knowing for me that you know how I show up in my personal and daily life and my relationship is also going to um, reflect in my business and vice versa in the sense that mm-hmm. what I'm trying to communicate is you know all of these areas of our life all um, you know they play into each other right yes so I knew that by, you know, investing in myself, uh, in my personal life and in my personal relationship, that it was also going to play out some way in the, my other areas of my life. And, you know, uh, at the time, and it still is my, my business life or my business is still mm-hmm. very a big part of my life. So I just knew that it was going to pay off in some way. And even if it's not in a like monetary way, yeah. it was going to pay off some way. And I just knew yeah. that, you know? Um, yeah. So that was one of the things that allowed me to trust in the investment I was making, yeah. but also um, just knowing that um, the vision that I had for my, the relationship uh, and also the person that I wanted to show up as in as um, the wife I wanted to show up inside of my relationship, I felt like that was totally worth, you know, yeah. the investment. And yeah. it's, you know, it's hard to put a price on like having a really beautiful relationship, having a happy relationship. And I guess, cause I was also in, you know, certain kind of um, pain in the sense that, you know, um, one of the other reasons I wish I came to see you was, um, I just noticed I was spending so much time inside yeah. of um, my, my mm-hmm. business and it was just like taking over everything else, you know, and I knew how my life was kind of suffering. Um, it wasn't my, I wasn't living a terrible life, but I, I saw parts of my um, relationship or my personal health was suffering that I knew that I have to, now it's the time for me to spend equal amounts of energy, but also money in my personal life so I can kind of create, create that balance. So yeah. that is personally what had helped me uh, feel really good about my investment. And personally, I'm also somebody who just really tunes into my body yeah. when I just to see like, okay, does this, um, does this decision feel good? Yeah. Cause it's easy for us. Well, I'm going to come back to me. It's easy for me to get yeah. stuck in my head yeah. and try to rationalize things and being like, ah, oh, the money and, um, and all that. But my body, I think it was just, it just felt so calm and so safe mm-hmm. that I'm like, I know I have to go with this because every time I listen to mm-hmm. my body in that way, mm-hmm. it has always brought me to the right place. So I had to trust that. Oh, I have total goosebumps and, and can so, so relate. I know you saw the video that I shared in the group recently where I talked about all the investments I've made mm-hmm. since 2019. And it's really been from that space as well. Um, and you even shared that like us working together actually ended up having some kind of monetary yeah, return. Definitely. In the long run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we can talk about, so Julie as well as a coach, and I'd love for people to hear how they can work with you as well. So that ability to kind of set your own, mm-hmm. you know, there's no glass ceiling type of thing mm-hmm. when you can create your own income. So mm-hmm. I'm, I was really happy to hear that it did end up in some ways paying off in that way as well. Mm-hmm. What did I have here? What is what is different or or changed inside of your relationship? Mm-hmm. You know, even during the time we were working together, and and now, and and what do you continue to sort of draw on from our work together? Because what happens sometimes is like, yeah, when we're in a container with a coach, the changes can happen. But what's really important is that, and I always make sure that if I'm doing a month intensive with someone, it is with someone who's going to be able to take it and continue integrating so can you tell us a little bit about that yeah so the things i you know i still carry with me um after i work together if one of the things is like really just allowing myself to pause whenever i feel triggered yeah and you know just to really kind of tap into that okay like when i'm when i'm Obviously, if when I'm triggered, I'm coming from like a very fear-based 
mentality fear-based perception and just kind of going on with all these stories that I'm making about the, this trigger right and allowing myself just to with the tools that you gave this come back to you know love and okay you know if I were to see this from a perception of love you know what would what would the new story be you yeah. know and also when I'm stepping into that you know that wife that I want to be showing up inside of this uh, situation, this immediate situation, what would that actually be, you know? Mm -hmm. And just always coming back to that has really helped me avoid a lot of useless argu arguments <laughs> and just keep things much more smooth. And, you know, it's really interesting, you know, how when I just decide to see the situation from a lens of love, it's just like I'm falling like back in love with my husband. And it's just a fun process, you know? And you know, the idea, like, this is an idea that um, I integrated even before we, I got married to my husband, Pete, you know, is like, love is a verb. It's something that, you know, you have to intentionally kind of uh, recreate and be conscious about. And just being able to always step back into that, you know, lens of love. Um, how do I want to react from a, a, um, a way of love when I'm faced with this potential trigger? Yeah has really just, yeah, I feel like it has allowed m myself to just be more and more in love with my husband as yeah. we, we, as our marriage continues to grow, you know, so it feels like yeah. it's really fun. And I just did want to point out that, you know, a lot of the work or the work that I'm um, taking away from our time together was a lot of the embodiment work. But I also want to just point out that you gave a lot of practical tools, right? Yeah. Um, so that that is also something that I rely on. It's, you know, because well, when I was explaining this to my husband, he was just like talking like, this is, sounds very airy fairy <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> and like, yeah, there is that part of yeah. like that quote unquote woo and that quote yeah. unquote work with the motions. But uh, what I do really appreciate, because I do really have that, I need that kind of step-by-step -step plan kind of yeah. thing. Like you did really provide those tools. So mm -hmm. I just didn't want, I did want to point that out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is there anything else you wanted to share? I mean, you've already shared so much. <laughs> If, you know, if there's just, someone who's hesitating, let's say, to to make an investment. So right now I'm, I have the doors open to School of Love, which I'm going to drop um, in the comments after the video. If there's someone who is wanting to invest in that, but also afraid of making the investment, what would you say to them? I mean, I would reshare again my experience of helping, like if I was to get out of my head, you know, yeah. trying to get out the logical and the very yeah. rational yeah. and just getting back in touch of, you know, what is it that I really desire yeah. and holding the vision of what I know is possible for me. So again, coming back into love, what is possible for my marriage, what is also possible for me as a woman, you know, when I'm stepping into this, that vision of the wife I want to be showing up as and mm -hmm. that my most loving self Mm -hmm. And just believing that, that that is possible and that is okay for me to desire what I want to desire mm -hmm. and believing that I am worth the, that myself I'm worth investment but also the the vision that I have is worth yeah. the investment yeah. and when I tap back into that um I guess desire and the vision that I know is possible for me yeah. it just helps calm all the all the noise that can show up you know from yeah. uh maybe potential fear you know so yeah um, that's what I would say yeah oh that's so beautiful thank you so much for sharing uh, I really I appreciate your courage in continuously sharing you've shared many times in your own way and your own platforms about our work together and I always feel that when a woman can share so openly about our work especially you know it is an intimate space right it's really to me a signal of like stepping out of any old paradigms and limitations and really into the expansion. Like when I see this courage and sharing, mm -hmm. I really deeply like appreciate it, but also admire it in, in such a real way. And I know that for anybody watching now or later when they, when they see this, it also opens the doors to a vision they might not have been able to access or even believe was possible for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Julie, you're also a coach. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do and where people could connect with you? Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to thank you for sharing what you just uh, shared about 
my courage to share and, you know, be expansive in my own way inside of this yeah. journey. And in terms of what I do, so I'm a health coach and I help women, basically, I teach them how an intuitive way of eating to nourish their bodies and take care of themselves in a way that's really sustainable and enjoyable. Yes. And I like to say that I offer a holistic, but also loving and practical um, approach to PMS periods, PCOS, yes. and also um, sustainable weight loss. And mm -hmm. I have actually a little funny story I wanted to share. Yeah, and, you know, my, my, one of my clients, she kind of shared like, you know what, the work we're doing is helping my relationship. I'm like, how? And she, like, she initially came for me to learn how to safely lose weight. Yeah. Um, but she said, ever since, you know, taking out the processed food and things like that, her PMS has been really great. Right. Like she's not really having any cramps, any moods. And she's like, my husband, he's loving this. And I'm able to show up super calm and like around and not get all these triggers. Yeah. So I just thought it was just so funny because I'm like, I have to share this with Diana. I'm like, I'm also helping relationships in my own. Like, totally. I actually know some people watching this who are going to like really like latch on to that because completely mm -hmm. like our, our hormones, our hormones and the food and our sleep and all of it can really impact how easily we are triggered, which of course our triggers have major impacts on our life. <laughs> yeah. It just, yeah. I love that. And if people want to find out more about you and what you do, and maybe if they're on their own journeys of weight loss or PMS or a P, what did you call it? PTOS? PCOS. So that's probably yeah. or race syndrome. How can we get in touch with you? Yeah, so I'm most active on Instagram. So you can yeah. find me at Julie Doan Health. And also in the links in my bio, I do share like a, a free five day workshop. I call it the Nourish Essentials. And it's basically teaching people the five um, foundation habits and mindset shifts to develop a better relationship with food, but yeah. also uh, improve your health in a way that's really sustainable. Amazing. I'm going to actually link your profile here um, and your website. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for sharing. So ladies, anybody watching now or later, if you have questions for Julie and I, just tag us in the video and we will say bye for now. Julie, you can stay on so we can just say a proper goodbye to each other. I'll just stop streaming. Stop live stream. Bye-bye ladies.